polls. We're taking a closer look at that plan, what it calls for, and how it would change our judicial system and our country. We do not have to tolerate radical anti-American judges rewriting the American Constitution and pretending that we are helpless. And candidly, once we have abolished this court, we should serve notice to the Ninth Circuit that they are on sufferance, and if they decide to continue being radical, they will become unemployed. A fired-up Newt Gingrich speaking in October to the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition about his plan to rein in, quote, activist judges who he believes are destroying the American way of life. The 28-page draft plan is titled, Bring the Courts Back Under the Constitution. In it, Gingrich argues for a more subordinate judiciary, claiming, Our founding fathers believed that the Supreme Court was the weakest branch, and that the legislative and executive branches would have ample abilities to check a Supreme Court that exceeded its powers. Gingrich argues that when the Supreme Court gets it wrong constitutionally, the President and Congress have the power to check the court contending in some cases the president may even ignore the Supreme Court. As president, I would say that I would instruct the national security apparatus to ignore the three most recent Supreme Court decisions on terrorism, and I would say those are null and void and have no binding effect on the United States, and as commander-in-chief, I will not tolerate a federal judge risking the safety of the United States with some misguided interpretation. The plan calls for Congress to start subpoenaing judges who issue controversial rulings, compelling them to explain their constitutional reasoning. Former U.S. Attorney General Michael Mukasey, who served under President Bush, says while Gingrich's plan has some good points, he finds much of it untenable. Mr. Mukasey is an advisor to Governor Mitt Romney, but says he has only counseled Mr. Romney one time and would do the same for any of the Republican candidates. Now, let's talk about his idea. He wants to, among other things, subpoena judges who issue decisions that he doesn't like. For judicial oversight hearings, as he calls them. What, how does that strike you? Outrageous. How so? Because there's no basis. The only basis on which Congress can subpoena people is to consider legislation. To subpoena judges so as to beat them up about their decisions has only a... I mean, if they're going to say that that has to do with legislation that they might propose, that's completely dishonest. Alberto Gonzalez preceded Mr. Mukasey as Attorney General during the Bush presidency. Before that, Mr. Gonzalez sat on the Texas Supreme Court. He, too, has concerns about the Gingrich plan. I think that uh, we have a great uh, government, a great country, because it's built upon the foundation of the rule of law. And uh, one of the things that makes it great, and the, fa and the, the rule of law is, is protected by having a strong and independent judiciary. And the notion or the, the specter of, of bringing judges uh, before the Congress like a, like a school child being brought before the principal, to me, is a little bit troubling. Uh, I, I believe that a strong and independent judiciary doesn't mean that the judiciary is above scrutiny, that it's above, above criticism for the work that it does. But I cannot support and would not support uh, efforts that would appear to be intimidation or retaliation against judges. Gingrich also wants to abolish certain judgeships, or even entire courts, if he and Congress think the circumstances warrant. And he wants some judges kicked off the bench if their rulings run too far afield, in his view. Judge Beery in San, in San Antonio on June 1st issued a decree that not only could students not pray at their graduation, they couldn't use the word benediction, they couldn't use the word invocation, they couldn't use the word God, they couldn't use the word prayer, they couldn't ask the audience to stand, and if they violated his order, he would arrest and imprison the superintendent. Judge Beery's court should be abolished now. While technically it is possible for Congress to impeach a judge or eliminate a court, both Mr. Mukasey and Mr. Gonzalez expressed serious concern about putting a judge's job on the line based on his decisions. I would tread very, very carefully down the road, uh, you know, this notion that, okay, this judge has rendered a, a decision that we think is unpopular, we're not happy with it, so we're going we're gonna to try to impeach this judge. I, I think that's not, that's not healthy. Uh, again, I, I, I think the way you deal with, with uh, decisions rendered by judges that you're unhappy with is you win presidential elections. You elect a president who's going to appoint people to the judiciary who understand the appropriate role of judges. That's why they have a judiciary that is independent. That's why they have judges who serve for, guaranteed for life terms, who have salaries that can't be diminished during their lifetime, so that they are independent of political pressure. But what about the most controversial courts and Gingrich's plan to eliminate them? He wants to see the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals entirely abolished. Your thoughts on that? Ridiculous. 
the fact is that the Constitution empowers the Supreme Court to establish lower federal courts. Presumably it can undo lower federal courts. But to say that you're going to undo an entire court simply because you don't like some of their decisions when there are thousands of cases before that court is totally irresponsible. But, you know, a lot of a lot of people don't like, in particular, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. They think it's issued some crazy rulings. It issued, as Newt Gingrich has pointed out many times, the opinion striking down under God and the pledge, which was later reversed by the Supreme Court. But a lot of people think, yeah, I don't like that Ninth Circuit. Let's get rid of it. To those viewers who are feeling that way, explain why you think that's outrageous and dangerous. It's 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 outrageous because it essentially does away with the notion that when courts decide cases, the proper the proper way to have them reviewed is to go to a higher court. It's dangerous because, even from the standpoint of the people who put it forward, because you, you have no guarantee that you have a permanent majority. The minority now can be the majority tomorrow and can do the same thing to the courts that they don't like. Where would that end? It would end with um, having a Democratic majority that then decides to abolish the Fourth Circuit and the Eleventh Circuit. And you go on and on and on. And they could then, re I guess, reconstitute another court it would reduce the entire judicial system to a spectacle. If we had a President Gingrich and this plan was enacted, how, would it fund how fundamental would the change be to the way America works? It would be fundamental, in the, I mean, which is a favorite word of his. He likes to speak about things being fundamental. This would be the most fundamental change in our lifetime, and that includes the New Deal and everything that followed it. Um, this would work a fundamental change in our constitutional system, make this a different kind of country. Both Mr. Mukasey and Mr. Gonzalez applaud Speaker Gingrich for calling attention to problems in the judicial system. Both say they support certain parts of his plan, like calls to make judicial appointments more a focus of political campaigns, a preference for judges who follow the original intent of the Constitution, and steering clear of foreign law in interpreting the founders' intent. If, if Newt Gingrich is watching this interview, and he respects you, I presume. What message do you have to him about this plan uh, as, it, as it's now written? There's a lot in here that's good. Take a red pen to the parts that are bad, stick with the parts that are good, and run on it. Well, we have reached out to the Gingrich campaign for their response to the comments made by Generals Mukasey and Gonzalez. We alerted them about 24 hours ago. So far, no word back. When we get a response, we will bring it to you. And if you would like to read Mr. Gingrich's plan yourself, you can do so by logging on to foxnews.com slash America Live. We have attached the complete 28-page draft report.